Today we're going to be doing a very special video guys. It is still the pre-release for X-Men Rise and Fall this week. So we've got four boosters and Simi and I are going to be doing a mock Rise and Fall seal. Just popping these bad boys open. 300 points just like a normal seal. You guys will be able to see our thought process behind building teams and just sort of get to see some sealed gameplay in action for a brand new set. So. Uh, Simeon, any words before we uh, crack open some Rise and Fall we've been waiting ever so dearly for? Uh, no. Uh, my advice when it comes to playing Sealed for this set is uh, pull the like three figures that'll win. Because there's only three or, that are guaranteed points. So, Emperor Gladiator, mm -hmm. Prime, Mimic Prime? Mimic Prime, yeah. Is your own salad in there? What's, uh, your, what's your last one? Blackheart, black. Oh yeah, it's got to be. Yeah. Um, yeah. Some of the chases are real solid. I, I think. Mean, I think mean, if you pull Cake Deadpool, I think you win too. Yeah. Honestly, that's a lot to slog through. There's a lot Set. of like. Uh, I played pre-release last night, and there's a lot of like small teams that can pump out a lot of damage, but it's real hard in a normal like 300 point setting for Seal to like take down Blackheart. I didn't see an Emperor Gladiator, but yeah. on paper, he is impossible to take down and seal. Just a lot. All right. As always, our night is made by Joe Smith. Uh, I'm sorry, made by me under the guidance of Joe Smith from Branson, Missouri, under the Silver Anvil. Mm -hmm. And mine is a Kershaw. Hey. It's not a bad, it's not a bad night. Nice it's not a bad night. No, no, Kershaw's are, it's no, uh, it's no bench made, but if you, if you don't feel like making your own night, buy a Kershaw. Be careful with them because oh, you cut your hand open. Oh, Ooh, yes. A brood. <laughs> a brood. And so, as you might have heard on the uh, podcast, probably the worst super absolute. Uh, here we've got Lalandra Narabani, the rare. That's your rare. Uh, we've got Longshot, Sabretooth, a multiple man, and we've got a uh, yeah, hand punch Colossus. We have, we have Corsair, Deathbird, Another saber tooth, a brood. We got that common Wolverine in my first pack. Here we go. Let's see what happens. We got hey, it, was, it was it was heavy though. Uh, you you utter fool. <laughs> You're so screwed. All oh, right. we got bubble wrap over there. All right. All right, we got we got the double rare pack. So my other one is. Uh, we got the Double Colossus, we got Exodus, Sebastian Shaw, another multiple man, which is cool, and Marvel Girl. Okay. So we have the worst figure in the set, Darwin. Uh, we have Smasher, Eric the Red. So our bubble wrap isn't even the cool part. Our bubble wrap is Chod or Chode or Shaman. But we have uh, one of the three figures Simeon was talking about, Herbert. Uh, Sorry, excuse me. <laughs> just black heart. Just black heart. Just black. Makes me very nostalgic, this black heart guy. Mm. For some classic Marvel versus Capcom style. Who's on your team, Simeon? What you got? What you got there? I'm glad you asked. asked. Well, here's what's on my team. Ah, I'm covered. Did you do it yet? Did you edit the, the thing over there? Uh, so yes, I've got... I've got Exodus, I've got Lalandra Nierman, or Nirmani, who cares? Uh, I've got Colossus, Marlboro, Longshot, Multiple Man, times two, as it should be. Um, so, as you can tell, this is an X-Men theme team, as you can probably tell from, I'm probably still showing the stuff where I paused, uh, uh, you know, how I did it. Uh, it's an X-Men theme team, uh, plus three over Callers team, because that's what it caps at plus three theme team props. Um, but basically, I went with Longshot right off the bat because he's a 50 point prop and he's pretty decent. He's got uh, run shot, triple bolt, can't go wrong with that. I went with Colossus at 50 points because he's got Empower, so he's boosting my damage. Um, and he's got Impervious for 50 points that's protected from outwit, so pretty solid. Uh, Exodus was also a no-brainer, 95 points. He has Mind Control, TK, he flies, he's got Cohen Revival, which on an X-Men theme team, and Sealed, pretty good. Um, Lalandra Niramani was a late pick, 
and I ended up basically because she has traded leadership and prob top dial, I decided to keep her on the team. Uh, and then multiple mans, both at 10 points, because stats wise, they are always an 11 for 3. No, excuse me, they're 11 for 3 on click 1, uh, on their starting click of click 4. Um, otherwise, they're an 11 for 2. Um, but they can both take damage and be brought back by a Krakoan Revival and make a second dupe. Which one of them will have to be KO'd, so we'll see which one that is. Uh, and then, yeah, Marvel Girl is just there. She's got Sidestep and Pensai and Flight, so nice. A lot of moving gears and stuff. Okay, well, on my team, I made a, uh, somehow I made a monster theme team. I only pulled two X Men on, like, Simeon's packs over there, so. Um, that's basically what I looked at. I was like, all right, Blackheart has to be on the team, as you can see. And then the rest of it was like, who else has keywords that he shares? And it all ended up being monsters. So yeah, the 60 point Sabertooth, good charge blades, exploit piece. We got Chad. Um, he's got some salvage going on, which is pretty good. So I, uh, I dig that. Which, did I place him correctly? Yes, I did. All right, very cool. So, and then obviously Blackheart is the bulk of the team. And then we have the Brood. Uh, it works out well. Got four characters. I have two people that can carry those characters. I also have leadership on the team. It gives me a nice little theme team in a sealed set where there's like, as we see against Simeon's team, there's going to be a lot of theme teams in the set. So I'm glad to be able to do that. I also have two characters um, that I have the new mechanics. So I've got one with Rally and one with Salvage. So I'm curious to see how those mechanics work out this game. Now, to the game. All right, so even though Simeon had the plus three on the roll, I rolled an eight, he rolled like a six. So with the plus three. With the plus three. Yeah. So I'm gonna go first. I've got my man, uh, Chad, in Hindering Terrain, so we're gonna roll for Salvage, which is free when Chad uh, occupies or is adjacent to Hindering Terrain, roll a d6 and place it on his card, max one. It was a four, uh, three through four is attack, a five is damage, and then a six is attack and damage. So we're gonna go ahead place a little metal four on his card, and then we remove that uh, as soon after he makes an attack. So, all right, cool. So we got Chai, he's got plus one to attack right now. We're gonna go ahead and have the brood carry him. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, right there. Uh, Chai can swim. He has a dolphin symbol, which means he gets to make great use. He cannot be targeted unless you are within four squares, uh, since he's a little dolphin-y boy. And then we're going to have uh, Herbert Blackheart of Windam. Is there any reference to the little white creature on Chad's shoulder? Um, let's see. My turn, kill the rescue, excuse me, and I've already saw her. No, there's not. Hmm. No, not at all. I don't know what the thing is. I think he makes it in uh, whatever, though. Uh, we might as well place him there. We have a leadership. It's just a, it's a smart thing to do. What interesting tokens you have there, Colin. Yes. yes, well, thank you, Simeon. I'm glad you think so. These are, for those of you that may pull a Ultra Chase Deadpool, it is a cake token, or for those of you that get the <laughs> incredibly loud noise, for those of you that get the Play at Home Kit Deadpool, we have a Hello Kitty goodie bag token. As you know, Deadpool is obsessed with Hello Kitty. So, and you can get these tokens if you subscribe to the Dial H for Hero Clicks Patreon. We do new designs for every single set. We've got some Fantastic Four tokens. We even have some Wonder Woman tokens that'll be coming out real soon. Yeah, they're all sorts of fun ones. Even Simeon has some tokens over there. Uh, these ones, oh. we are Extreme Rules these based. Are extreme Rules. If you are a hardcore Extreme Rules fan, you'll enjoy those. Uh, and opposite of those, we have the Shi'ar flag and the Emperor Gladiator confidence tokens. So both of those for the Shi'ar fans out there, if you're collecting the figures already, pretty cool stuff. Absolutely. But uh, that is my turn, that's all I can do. So now and me and take us away. So for my turn, I will, just to keep it relevant, I will roll leadership for Lalandra Niaramani. Stalling. And for Exodus. Stalling. Both threes, which is great. Um, so we will have Exodus K 
carry somebody. I think we're going to carry Lalandra because that's my one of my probs. So he can go nine squares while carrying. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think that is fine for now. We're going to go here. And we're going to drop her there. Uh, that is one action. The fun thing about these multiple mans, multiple mens, is they have the underworld team ability so they can carry each other. So this one will go eight squares. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We could go here and drop one right there. Like sneaky sneak kind of action. Oh. Not very sneaky. Um, both of these guys, as I said, are being played at the 10 point line. They do not have any speed power, but uh, I don't know. I'm growing, I'm growing fond of these multiple mins. Um, my other flyer is Marvel Girl, and I think she's going to carry Colossus. So she's going to fly straight over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. She'll go here and drop Colossus right behind the two multiple mens. And then I still have one action left because of my two leaderships, or just a leadership, it doesn't really matter how many. Uh, I'll move a long shot, one, two, three, four, five. Let's position him up here. Ooh, how curious. Or he can, he can see a bunch of stuff. He's only got six range, but he can see all kinds of stuff up there. Okay. All right. So let's do leadership with Blackheart. Nope. We can get rats. Okay. He's got 11 speed. All saber teeth. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh. Oh. Man, if he ignored. Yeah, if he ignored uh, characters, or if he ignored uh, elevated, mm -hmm. but he doesn't. And he doesn't want to waste like an attack. What's so great about this map is with the new rules, all this hindering is now just... Yeah, otherwise that would really sucked for like, yeah. like, oh gosh, I'm just like thinking about this for that. That would, be, that would really be terrible. All right. I'll do Chod, though. I can only go five squares. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh. That'll do. That'll do. Oh, actually, can I look at most of my next card? Yeah. I think, I think they won't even die, would they? No, they put a picture of their second click. Oh, uh, two damage? What yeah. Are, what yeah. Uh, all right. We actually we still might do that anyways. Um, yeah, we're up char we'll, we'll charge Quake to here. So that would be 11 on 17s. Let me just double check. Two, four, three. Yeah, we can't outlet anything before we go anyway. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That would be fifteen. I'll hit fifteen. Old Jamie Madrox is harder to hit than that. Uh, actually, that hit sixteen. So my plus one attack. And then we're gonna uh, move it, and then uh, free or next to a thing. Roll it again. Two. Now we got nothing. Now we have nothing. Uh, so sad. Poor shot. Mm. Poor shot. Give me up. We're on your team. I guess that. Do not. Do not. No, no, not anywhere on the dial. Okay. And nowhere down dial. Okay. That's not so bad. It's not so bad. No, this is a very brute force. Okay. I don't have a ton and of... And then Colossus' defense? What does Colossus' defense do? It's just impervious with protected outlet. Oh, yeah. oh, so that oh, specific oh. power is that protected. Is okay, yeah, that's pretty cool. If it said safeguard outlet, that would mean his entire being could not be outwitted. I'm not protected means have just that power. This up and then not used it. Just because he should have picked that up. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Yeah, we can only get there. Mmm, saber tooth. I don't really think we want to waste that much like actions on these dudes, but we have four actions, so we might as well. So we'll have saber tooth charge blades. Go again. Multiple man. Ooh, there's a five in that roll. Do you wanna do you wanna roll blades? I I won't. Actually I'll just deal them with three damage. Okay. Three uh damage. let's see. Who can see that? Long shot. One, two, three, four, five. That is the only person who can see that. So long shot is going to get a rally guy. Ooh. 
Ooh, ah, beautiful peppermint uh, <laughs> dice. Okay, what a great color scheme. Uh, so we're dealing three damage to this multiple man. Yes. Of course, as you can tell from his dial, he will only take two and he will expire. Um, but now I'll have him on the sideline, slash, not sideline, but he will be generatable by the other right. multiple man. Very true. All righty then. We're gonna go ahead and have Blackheart just go. I'll open up my Calgary as well. Because with a Krakoan revival team, points definitely matter and it is quite hard to keep track. Yeah, there we go. Sure. We're gonna we're actually gonna shoot Laundra. Mm. Yeah. My seventeen toughness. Ooh. That will hit a nineteen. Uh, a twelve attack. Twelve attack. Yes. For four damage. I'm going to have to take it because well. I'll use her prob okay. just because All right. she's going to lose it if I do Okay, yeah, it's still seven. As <laughs> I suspected, well, it'll still deal, it'll heal her three. One, two, three. Okay. Very cool. Very cool. And then we're going to outwit Exodus's mind control. Wow. With uh, Mr. Mr. Black card here. Not a fan. And then let's go ahead fly brood to right there. And it is your go, Simi. I should explain, uh, the reason I gave Longshot the Rally Die, not only is he the only one that can see the attack with a five, um, but also, oh, I guess I did see it. I, I, could, I could see two with Longshot. Can I stack Rally Dies? Is that a thing? I don't think so. Um, but when Longshot makes an attack, I can replace a die in the attack roll with his rally die, and then his rolls that are five, five, two fives are a crit hit. So essentially, if I roll any attack with a single five and I have a rally die, that attack becomes a crit hit. Ooh, which is pretty cool. It's not, it's not the greatest thing in the world, but it's pretty cool for sure. Um, so with that being said, I will roll leadership with Lalandra Niramani. And then I will roll leadership with Exodus, which matters quite a bit less. Those are the only two rolls that I have that matter at the beginning of the turn. Uh, let's see here. I have a charge blades with Colossus, and I have close combat expert with multiple man. I'm going to start off. I'm just going to try and get rid of this brood. So multiple man has close combat expert, giving him an 11 for three. And with the empower from Colossus, he'll be an 11 for four. And for 10 points, that's pretty solid. I'm gonna punch this brood. I need a six to hit. Ah, that is a critical miss. But luckily, I do have probability control with long shot. Uh, wow. So I will use my plain, very, very, very good. Plain Jane probability yep. control. Also, it's great that it's it is a, in a direct diagonal, yeah. perfectly planned out. It's of course, exactly the diagonal, not Marvel Girl, because that would have been out of my line of sight. Ooh, that one will hit. Ooh. It's that a twenty. Do you even need to see the person uh, getting it for rally? I don't think you do. I think you could have given her uh, rally losses one as well. Once per turn for each die and a final light attack roll for all characters with matching rally die and trade color printed. Yeah, this ain't After resolutions, like choose a friendly character again. Yeah, so. Yeah, no, I, I could have even give, you can give one of them a rally die because I rolled another five. Oh, yeah. So. Well, oh, wait. No, yeah, my second attack still has a five. Though. So, Brood will die with four damage. Uh, it only takes three. One, two, three is the magic number to kill him with toughness. So, 
assuming you got 15 points there, but then I will give Sabretooth a rally yeah. dodge. Revenge for my multiple man. That's my one gripe about these multiple mans. Because his power is built on or based on kinetic energy. Yeah. He should be able to generate a dupe when he hits. So like the XDPS multiple man. Yeah, it does it correctly. Where yeah. He does it when he hits and then when he succeeds in shape change. Although I think that one's way worse than these ones, but Oh he is way worse, absolutely. Yeah. But if they could do that while attacking and everything too, then they'd be hundred. I mean they're still awesome. they'd be pretty busted. They're still great. Um but all right, sir. Yeah. By all means, continue. So that was uh, my first attack. Now I've got some weird options. I have two characters with blades. I also have somebody with pensai. And I think I'm gonna have to go with that option first. As much as I don't quite care for it, I think I'm gonna go. I'm gonna sidestep here. Ooh. With my Marble Girl. I have a Psychic Blast 10 for 2. I'm going to try and hit Blackheart and get him off that okay. Impervious, maybe. Okay. Uh, I need an 8, and I'm all out of probs. Except for my theme team. Yeah, theme probs. Yeah. yeah. So we need an 8. Go for it. And that is a 5. I will toss a singular one. A singular theme prob, just in case. Oof, I thought that was going to be a crit hit, or a crit miss. That would have been sad. Uh, that's two actions. Action three is actually pretty simple for me, so I'm going to go one, two, three. I'm going to run in shot to here. Doesn't really, actually, yeah, doesn't really matter where I'm at yeah. for this, but I'm going to triple target incapacitate. Uh, ooh. An 11. Let me just check. It's not bad. When long shot makes an attack, you may replace a die in the attack roll with his rally die. I think I can do it after the fact. So, triple target, incapacitate. Um, yeah, we're gonna leave that as is. There's no reason to make it a crit hit, really. Yeah. Dang. I don't really want to waste a bunch of props. So we'll just, we'll just let him get the tokens, I think. Like, they're really... It's a big bummer. But we're going to have to leave it. Incap no longer does 10 damage. Um, but luckily, no one on Calder's team has... Cosmic energy. Cosmic energy or will Just the leadership role would be it. So, that does... It does, like, uh, give me a little bit of a boost targeting those characters with... Incapacitate. Um, so long shot is already kind of making up for his points there. That is three actions. Action four. I have a blades with Lamandra and I have a blades with Colossus. Both of them are nope. Colossus is an eleven attack, so that makes that super simple. We're gonna charge one, two, three, and try and blades the. Ooh, all right. Lower defense character, which is Saber Tooth. Yeah. yeah. An 11 into a 17. Ah. Ah. A, a good three there. That will be, that'll hit a 14, which sadly, right. just no one. Uh, Exodus will clear this turn. He is the only one that will clear. Okay. And that'll end my turn. All right. Uh, we get big leadership roll. Uh, then we'll do uh, Chod's free next to Hindering Salvage. Oh, nope. And, <laughs> dude, I think that's it. Yeah. I, uh, no, we have to outwit something. We're going to still outwit Exodus's mind control. I'm not not a big fan of that. That's a good idea because that 12 attack 4 damage is pretty solid. I would definitely oh, attempt. Scary. I would definitely attempt to get that if I could. Um, Let's see. Sadly, I moved my Empower away. But what I can do is I can, let's see. I've got a double token, so I, I will roll Leadership with Exodus and Lalandra just to make sure that I'm still doing that. Um, I have a prob here with Longshot that'll reach Two, four, six. So everyone that I can see, I could prop with long shot. I 
can't do anything with Marble Girl, so I've got four actions. It's just the order that I want to do them. Multiple Man's not going to be able to do a whole lot against Chog. It's going to be an 11 for 3, so what I'm going to do is start off with Lalandra. No, 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 no. Because I want to be able to uh, see some things, we're going to probably run in shot. But where makes the most sense? Let's run in shot to here. Okay. And we will target Sabertooth first. So it'll be an 11 into a 17 for potentially 4 damage. Um. We will allow it. Take three because of toughness. One, two, three, and you do get a rally die if anyone else. I already yeah. Yeah. Sabertooth's Sabre Sabre really, really he's my only rally guy with a rally die. Rally guy with a rally die. Now, so I was waiting for Lilandra because I thought I might block the, the line of fire, but now she'll sidestep and try and blades. Ah, oh, man. Let's go after Blackheart. Okay. Just in case I can hit the 18. So I need an 8. I do have a prob on it if I want. That'll miss. I will just let that stand because I'm more interested in taking out Sabretooth. So Colossus will tie and punch Sabretooth. Uh, getting Lalandra's Empower, he will be an 11 for 4. Ooh. Against the 17. And that will hit with yet another 5. With yet another 5. Well, you have a prob on it, so I don't think... I'm gonna waste a prop. One, two, three. And then the last action that I can take this turn is gonna be with Multiple Man, who will attempt to. Close combat expert. He's an 11 for 3, so okay. he'll, he'll attempt chance, to just. Use a chance to damage Chog. Yeah, just deal 1 against Chog. Yeah. Almost okay. a crit hit. Not really almost. Ooh, big six on Pervious. And we get to. Hopefully, we can do that. Sidestep. What's it called? Salvage. We'll sidestep Marble Girl. Actually, let's go one, two to there. Okay. She will clear. Long shot will clear. Didn't need to prop anything. No. But uh, that is the end of my turn. Okay, right on. Uh, like, I'll get the long shot. Gonna sneak a peek. Do you think you can get around my superest sense? I, I think I, I sure might be able to. Uh, Alright. I think. Yeah. Sadly, there is no other um, I think better way. I'd rather have Sabretooth heal, but. Alright. Well, first we'll see what. So loud. We're gonna do salvage. Ooh, Simeon. We got a six on salvage. Oh, that's plus one so attack and damage. Plus one attack and damage. Twelve for four. Kind of changes what uh, I'm trying really, to do. Here. Not really what I want. Simeon is stealth right now. Yeah, we are gonna have Black Hearts outweigh the super senses on the and have Sabretooth uh, take a swing. Ooh, that'll hit. That'll hit without any super senses. The only thing I can do is mastermind it to Colossus, and he will attempt to roll in purpose. Okay. Okay. So, so he will take three. Three because of the, the rally. One, two, three. Taking a five, but reducing it by two. Yes. Yes. So it would seem. Uh, then we're going to have Chad try to charge Breakaway. Oh, fudge. We'll waste a prob with Chad to try to... You gotta be kidding me. Man, uh, we're gonna waste a prob with Sabretooth now. This is the last one. No, it's not, I guess. Oh! Do I want to waste all of them to try to do it? Yeah. Blackheart prob. Ah! Oh, Alright, very cool. We did all of that, so Chad cannot move anywhere. Uh, he gets a token. 
And now Simeon has an ever clear and present advantage over me. So sadly, I'm going to have to waste the props. Waste an attack against her. I really want to then quake them all. Uh, here, I forgot she had Mastermind. I guess we'll have Herbert Blackheart with him. Herbert, gosh, just Blackheart. We're going to have Blackheart punch him. Ah! That will miss! Team by one. Look, look what I've done. Wow. Look what I've done to myself. If All you right. could only somehow re-roll that yeah. attack. Wow. I feel like a four. <laughs> wow. Uh, luckily, both the camera and the cowboy hat uh, hide. <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> what you have done to me. Yes. <laughs> it's your turn! <laughs> All right. Dice running a little cold, a little cold over here at Ram Ram. Hey, very cold. I I feel like, based off of last night and this interaction, I feel like my aura of bad luck that somehow doesn't affect me but affects all around me is still in effect. Uh, I will roll leadership with Lavandra Niramani. Ah, what a terrible person and figure. Uh, and I will roll leadership with Exodus. Well, my disappointment is immeasurable. Uh, Your disappointment is immeasurable. Yes. Yes. Uh, let's see here. I will, because Sabretooth has a beautiful 12 attack, Yeah. I kind of want to mind control that. Um, my options for attacks this turn are long shot, Marble Girl, Exodus, and Lalandra. So luckily I have four actions to use, so all of them will be doing something. It just depends on which order I want to do them. I think I'm going to have Long Shot. Because it does not matter, he will just target Sabretooth. Uh, if he hits the other one, it just straight up does not matter. He'll only be doing damage if he targets Sabretooth. So, yeah. 11 to the 16. Ooh. Wow. I can't do anything about that. That'll hit for 3. Yeah. Because Longshot's a, a beefy boy. Um, I don't know if I said that. Uh, he's, he's just good. He's good. Um, now it kind of Man, how do I want to do this? All three attacks are going to be going towards somebody. Um, I do have a 12 for 4 sitting here. I have a 12 for 4 sitting there with an outwit. I think I'm going to sidestep Marble Girl here. And we'll just double target. Let's see how that, okay. that goes. We've got a 10 for 2. Wait, Psychic Blast. Yeah. Ooh, close. It'll hit 17s, so neither. Um, I'm going to have to use my long shot prop. That'll hit 21s. I'm going to do one and one, okay. just so I can get them a little bit down dial. See what they're taking. One Mystic's damage from old Blackheart here. Ooh, ooh, wow. Ooh, wow. Ooh, wow. So, we've got Exodus and Lalandra. How do I want to? I think Exodus is the best bet, no matter which way I kind of grab it. So, we'll have Exodus try and mind control. Because Blackheart has an 11 for 4, we're going to try and mind control him. The defenses are the same value. It just comes down to stats. And so he's got slightly better stats. Must actually try that as the six die. Can I use that? I uh, if try that as die on his card, and apply his apply plus one plus counter values, matching the other die. When he makes an attack after resolutions, remove the die. I could. It sounds so like it can. Could be a twelve for four. So yeah, we'll attempt to mind control a Chad there. Okay. I need a seven to hit. Uh, we will prob that with Blackheart's newly founded. Probability control. Huh. Huh. Dug real deep. 
found some prop inside. Okay, that will completely miss. I've used my long shot prop, so I'll theme prop that with Exodus himself. Again, with the new rules, you do not action token characters when yes. theme propping, and you're capped at a max for of three in a 300 point game. 300 point game, yeah. Yes, so um, Exodus can theme prop himself now, which is real cool, and he doesn't have to take an action token for that. Which I guess is kind of cool. Uh, that will hit. Uh, so that it's a 20 chod. We're using chod for this video. We're using chod. chod. We're using chod for the remainder of this video. With the tiny little thing, super hairy. I think is that Vinny? Or no, that's... No, Vinny uh, is the robot. That's right. The tiny robot. robot. Um, yeah, I wish I knew what... This thing is like the mini version of that dragon from the Never Ending Story. The, the is it the dragon? Yeah. yeah. It's like a weird Snuffleupagus baby. A baby Snuffleupagus. Uh, yeah, he's got to go after Blackheart. Those are my only two options. So, he's a 12 for 4 into the 18. Oof. That Ouch. will hit. No roll Blackheart Severtius. It will not damage. damage. Um, we will remove his die. Yes. And all I have left is, oh, before that, after resolutions, Chad will take four damage. He will still reduce by two, but he won't get his impervious roll because the damage doesn't come from the attack. And then last but definitely not least, we will try and Blades Blackheart. Okay. We have a ten attack. We need a... a Big ol' eight. With, uh, potentially a prob on it. Probably not. Wow. It does hit the eight. Right. Wow. We're rolling lots of fives. You are. Now that you don't have yeah, a yeah, scumbag. All right. And then we'll roll for the damage that might happen to you. Ooh, that's big a, six. That's a big six. Very big impervious roll. Oof. The, the opposite of the Taking six. four. Four. This is why on the podcast we said Lalandra Miramani is probably the best player in Sealed. <laughs> At least she takes one mystic damage. <laughs> wow, she has really snipped Blackheart's wings. <laughs> that, that sucks. Yikes. I will clear. Big ol', big ol yikes right there, ladies and gents. Both Colossus and... Wow. Multiple. Wow. We will roll Leadership Blackheart. Okay, three, very cool. We will do Chad's Salvage. Three does at least get us a three through four, which gives us a plus one attack, which is nice. Wow. Wow. We, oof, this is so sad. We're gonna out with the Mastermind on the Laundra. She has been too much of a pain in our butt, sadly. And we will flurry with Blackheart against her. Well, it's a crit hit, so um, you can prod it, I guess. I could. You want the super senses. Did you outwitted the master? I outwitted the master. Yeah, so I yeah. will prod it with long shot, so I at least get to get, get, get a sense of roll. Uh, okay, yeah. yeah. That still hits. Super senses says. Okay, well, second attack now with Blackheart. Uh, five hits a 16, so that will hit. That will still hit, and Super Senses once again says... Okay. No. Uh, Outwitted Mastermind, so she will take... Six damage. Six. Hit her with the six back, but she was on her last click. So she, she needed the whole one to die. Yeah. Uh, this is the point of the game where I can choose to go and revival her and bring her back on her prob dial. But because I'm sitting fairly good, I think that only hurts me giving Caller one of these Krakoan Revival pieces. Luckily, we played a full Krakoan Revival uh, video. video. You yeah. can see how that works in the description below. There were several turns in that video where it really hurt to give your opponent Krakoan Revival pogs. So I'm going to let her just stay dead this game. All right. Um, and then we're trying to sidestep breakaway with Chad. Wow, he actually he actually got it. I'll be darned. Is Colossus protected penetrating damage? No, no. Just outwit. Oh, yeah, we're gonna sidestep here 
and we're going to pen blast Colossus. He's going to be an 11 with his dice, so an 11 for 3. Ooh, that will hit. And there's and a 5 in the roll. 1 will do it. Uh, the 5 I will have to give to Marvel Mar Earl. Yes. Actually, uh, I think Colossus is one of the characters that I will bring back. Do I think that Exodus, Longshot, and Marvel Girl can handle it on their own? Not quite. But at the same time, do I want to give Calder a autonomous? Maybe. Maybe uh, autonomous. It doesn't even matter if I get an autonomous one at this point. So yeah, he only yeah, has my four actions. Yeah, so I will bring. Oh, he's going to bring him back. Is back. Oh, baby. Instead of being KO'd. What's, what's good in the hood? Oh, honestly? I don't even. I don't even think I'll bring back someone to attack you. I think I'll bring back someone to heal me. Or also, there's the prob piece. Gosh, these are all kind of. Like good. Also, like, like they're the all only good. perplex in the entire set. That's also true. The PhD wow, a. PhD apes bringing the only perplex in the whole set. Uh, I'm actually probably leaning towards bringing in the horticulture guy to roll a four and heal Blackheart. Honestly, because Blackheart is um, wherever he is at. Oh yeah, he's right before his stop clicks. So I think I think healing at Blackheart is really big. As much as I would like to take a 11 for 3 uh, pen blast shot or a precision strike shot on somebody, uh, then giving myself a prob, I think I'm going to go with horticulture. Uh, so I'm gonna, yeah, I'll take a horticulture one. If you have him over there, I don't know if you do or not. Which one is he? He is. Uh, I have his like face. face. Yeah, there you go. You're like, I don't think I'll really choose that one. I didn't, no, I, didn't, you know, I didn't think people chose that. Well, I just do, but I mean, for how low he is, right? Well, get that on camera so you To be fair. Yeah, so if you have these cards, you can just do this real sweet trick. You just, uh, kind of like wrapping paper. Once the paper starts to cut, you just keep sliding it. And then you just keep sliding it. Man. He's got multiple targets. Can I, can I double target support? You can triple target. Can uh, I triple target support? I don't think you can with support. I don't think that's how it works. With in cap. That's also true. Which is what what a long shot would be. It wouldn't be a bad idea either. No. Uh, he's yeah. got options. He definitely yeah, has options. Look at that. And just like that, you have yourself a fancy little. Yeah, look, little I still have the Cohen Revival rules. <laughs> yeah, you still have all the rules. Yeah. And I still have access to getting the photos or the PhD. And the apes. You only cut off the yeah. skill assassin. Uh, yeah. I can make him mix any minor guys, right? So we're just gonna make him right there. And he's gonna attempt to heal up Blackheart here. Uh, needs a four. Holy smokes, you gotta be kidding. Dang. <laughs> just <laughs> barely. You know how mad I would have been if I, I would have done that and I didn't choose like the I would have felt a little bad. But uh, at the same four, time. so two. One, two. Just put me on an invulnerability, poison, phasing, and prop. Black card. So assuming it is now, it is now go go. Okay. Um, I do have leadership with Exodus. It doesn't do anything either way. Uh, I can two, four, six incapacitate the two guys that already have two action tokens. So that doesn't do anything for me. Multiple man can't reach anyone. So it looks like I've got an attack with Colossus and Marvel Girl. And. Uh, I guess long shot can crit hit somebody potentially mm -hmm. if I roll a five. So let's start off with Marvel Girl. That's going to be my more important attack. Uh, let's see. She's going to sidestep. Let's go one, two to here. And dual target Chad and. I see. Culture. I see. I won't be able to prob this, but a 10 into a 15, I feel this is very really confident. This is where the crittiness comes into play. Oh man, so close. That'd be great. Alright, that will miss Chad, so yeah. I will just, just KO. I'm just gonna take that one. Yeah. Darn, I didn't get two uh, things off. I guess I could have sidestepped over there or something. Um, yeah. She will remove her rally die to TK herself. Back to where she was. And that's why Rally is 
broken. Uh, and that's why Rally is broken. Look at that. Yeah. Free movement. Crazy. Yeah. What I could have done was TK him. I feel like sidestep TK him over here. Yeah, then you could have got attack off with uh, the power from Colossus. Yeah. If you were smart. That might have been a decent option for sure. Um, or I could even like sidestep down. I he was going to do. Could have done a lot of things <laughs> with that. He uh, did like the least scary thing. I, I killed a bystander, so. Oh, wait. So, like, what, is, what are my points at now? There, yeah, ten so for each bystander. Is that right? You've only, I've only done one. Only got one. one. I've only got one. Yeah. So, so you killed the first multiple man. You didn't get any right. Like, that's right. So that's just ten him. points. Ladonra again. Yeah. I did not bring her back. Colossus. Yeah. You got fifty, and then another ten. Another ten. So Calder okay. sitting at one twenty. Uh, if this were uh, a timed game, I'd be winning right now. It's true. We're gonna call time. So let's see. I'm, I'm, I'm curious how this plays out because it, as a points game, yeah, this is very. Because brute is not worth a whole lot. No, uh, you've got 75 points right now. So for yourself. yeah, points wise, it would be smarter to go after Cha. Cha, yeah, because he's the higher he's on points with less to go yeah. through. Uh, and that's exactly what I won't do. Um, we're going for glory. Yeah. Not so really this lame. We're going to stuff. To charge, oh yeah, man. Is that what you're Blazing doing? is not a great idea, but he, he only has invulnerable right here. now. Yeah, what we'll do he instead, long shot, we'll just dual target. Dual target him. We've Shoot. got an eleven and seventeen, a seventeen and eight, nineteen. Oh yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. So, so, no, oh, loser. Uh, so he still makes a critical hit on a five five. Okay, could potentially do Let's double see. damage. Yeah. That is in an 18, which will hit 19, so that would hit both. Yeah. And I could crit it to deal out four right. to one. And I'm going to do that. So, so you crit it, I'm going to problem. Oh, that's true. Yeah. So no, uh, we're just going to deal the, the one damage to Blackheart. Blackheart, and then you take one damage. Now I have toughness. It makes you feel a little bit better. That is rough. Um, I still haven't used my crop, so we will have Colossus charge and yeah. try and blaze. All right, it'll be a eleven still. Yeah, eleven to an eighteen into an eighteen. A little bit harder to hit, but I still have a prop on it. Only need a seven. Here we go. Ooh, I will prop that with black card. Double crit misses. <laughs> Ah, rats, all right. Now I just need a decent blades roll. A two, so that'll only one. deal with one. I take one, and then you take one. Oof, da. Uh, I will now try to break away sidestep. I sidestep this guy. Oh, he gets it. I will go, uh, let's go one, two. Actually, no. We're gonna, go, we're gonna go right here, right there. Because my multiple man still has to act, and he is gonna uh, say, uh, I see. He's yeah, gonna power into not move a fan. one square. Not a fan. Exodus will clear. There you go. Uh, let's see if we can get leadership Blackheart. Ooh, we actually did get it. It's pretty cool. We'll take one off Chod there. We'll have Chod now roll for his traits. Uh, ooh, five. That's plus one damage. I don't know if I would want honestly dance. I think I'd rather have plus one attack. So that's why I, both. I moved multiple men here so that hopefully he couldn't make a psychic blast against Colossus and Uh We are going to sidestep though with Cha to see if we can get it. Ooh, we got it. Bop bop. And now with a four damage. Um, he's there. Oh, actually, yes, you can. Two and two. Mm -hmm. Yes. Two, four. Two, yes. Two, All right. Range. Well, we, we get that seven. It's four damage. <laughs> ah! If only we had a plus one attack to go with the, the Wow. Yes. Amazing. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Nifty. Uh, we're going to outwit the... Gosh, they're all such bad options. We're now with the close combat expert on Colossus. In clear black heart. 
right, we have this will go away. Leadership with Exodus. He gets it. Uh, close combat expert is gone off of Colossus. So all we have to really do is uh, let's have multiple man take a swing on Blackheart. Okay. He is a 11 for 3. Yes. Oh, oh my gosh! Wow. I meant that, to that, say that, an 11 that for That takes four. me to my first stop where you would generate where I would Blackheart generate more if I, if I so had it. Uh, I think not. not. The only feasible thing we can do at this point. You take one down. 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 Mystics. I've got to get what I can get. I don't know if I do. I take it and then heal one from steel energy. I think I heal and then after resolution, I don't know. Oh no, I guess not. No, you're right. You steal energy. I will. You choose your of operations on there. It's my running shot to here. And attempt to mind control. Actually, uh, yeah. let me make sure. This would be quite crippling. I could just. Yeah, we'll go running shot to here. That's the direct diagonal from both long yes, shots and yeah, black card. Yes. Uh, they'll attempt to mind control black card. Matt. <laughs> All right. Pythagorean. All right. <laughs> That's what it's called, right? Uh, 11 into a 17. That will hit. So I will, I will mind control him. Yeah, I will just, I will move the one. Okay. And I don't believe I get flurry. Yeah, exactly. No. But I can still attack yes. Chad. So I am a total of an eleven into an eighteen. Okay. Ooh, that that does hit for for one one. And then after resolution, <laughs> he dies. Blackheart <laughs> will take four. Not hitting this uh, up with points. Yeah, dude. Just, just, work. just going straight to Ouch. KO. Ouch. And Ouch. sadly, Colossus is out of sidestep attacking. Yeah, that's right. So he'll sidestep to here and pick up this lightest of objects because he does not have super strength. Uh, he'll sidestep there. I won't give him an action token. I will sidestep. Marvel Girl to here and clear her. All right, and I will clear long shot. Uh, Chad is adjacent to some Henry Train. Ooh, he gets five. Gets his damage bumped up again. And we're going to sidestep. Uh, still looking at Colossus's sidestep reach. So we're just going to sidestep back to there. Here we go. All right. We can go one, two, three, four. So we're not getting anywhere. One, two, three. Or nowhere shooty with long shot. Um, but what we can do is running shot to here. Two, four, six, seven with Exodus. Not a fan. And attempt to mind control Chad. Mm -hmm. Mind control this guy. It's an 11 into an 18. Yes. Them dice rolls, though. Dice fell on fire. On fire on this guy. So we'll just Maybe I shouldn't have used all my theme one, props on a breakaway roll. Huh. Three, four. But man, if it would have happened, this no one entire to attack. game would have been totally different. Sadly, no one to attack, but I suppose I will, after actions, deal you my printed damage. <laughs> and that'll be that. I set myself up for some follow up attacks, but those didn't matter. Um, yeah, without any Hellfire Club guard. Yeah, dude. That's Black really hard. Had a rough time. I also had the exact counter to stop clicks that I needed. And uh, I just had a ton of stuff with Krakow and Revival. So it does seem like there are a few hodgepodge teams you can put together. It didn't hurt that Calder rolled real bad when I needed him to. All right. So that was our, uh, that was our mock seal for Rise and Fall. Even if you think you can pull well, and even if you do pull well, and even if you have a theme team, you might think you clicks, but do you even? Simeon, what happened? With, I gotta get my do you I gotta get my shots in there where I can, like because I ain't got money to make. Unless you got two problems on your team, do you even clicks? That's right. Um, no, uh, so it came down to poor dice rolls on Calder's side. I think um, he was ahead on points for quite a bit of the turn, or quite a bit of the game. The game. Uh, but I, I mean. Exodus has the perfect counter to stop clicks and impervious rolls, so 
I'm able to damage him with that. Um, I think knowing when to use Grico in Revival is pretty big. Because uh, there was, I didn't use it with Lalandra. I felt like I was in a solid place where I didn't need it. And I didn't use it with the first multiple man. Um, things can go real bad if you use it too early. Oh yeah, yeah. your opponent has like, extra attacks and stuff. Uh, but yeah, I think uh, multiple man at 10 points being an 11 for 3, and then the amount of Empower in this set, I think that's a pretty solid piece. Being able to pull 2 is pretty good. I think Marvel Girl being my only penetrating damage was a little bit bad, but who needs penetrating damage when you have Exodus who can just deal 4 after actions resolve? You know what I mean? It's real good. Yeah, it's I know. Cool. I think I figured out what you meant while playing the game. I think I figured that out. Did you? Did you? I think so. I think oh. I did. Uh, yeah, I think I made a few key mistakes. Whoa! Nebraska Whoa. Earthquake. <laughs> What's <laughs> the rare Nebraska Earthquake? Honestly, with all the weather crap that's been happening here recently, with the flooding and then the wind, give us 10 years, we'll be the it's new California. Earthquake time. Uh, no, I think uh, I made a few key mistakes. I think I, I was like... I was too enthused about the idea of charging breakaway and then quaking everybody. Mm. But it would have only it would have only killed uh, Lalandra, and I was like, yeah, I'll waste every single drop <laughs> on it, uh, which was a terrible idea. If you learned anything from this video, don't waste all of your theme props on a breakaway roll. It's a fifty-fifty. It's a fifty-fifty, yeah. and it feels real bad. One, two, That's two, <laughs> three. I always convince uh, myself, just like you. I always convince myself. It's got to be an X50. It's got to be an one. Miss, hit, miss. So, think about like, so 50 50, 50 miss, 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 then hit. 50 50 on a shape change, you always hit that shape change. 50 50 on a breakaway roll, you're, you're going to miss that breakaway mm -hmm. roll. That's just how it, that's how it feels, though. That really is how it feels. Uh, but all right, that is Rise and Fall. Uh, Simeon, do you want to give us a, um, a weird rating system for a 1 out of 10, how you feel this set is to play for Sealed? Yeah, so like, a, we'll say like a. 10 is a, a rise, um, a, okay, uh, yeah. a SpaceX Tesla shooting off towards real, the, real high thing towards Mars. Or yeah, something. rising. And we'll say a fall is uh, just falling. Like, I don't know. Yeah, I like know. A, jumping off a parachute that didn't open. We'll yeah, say, you know, that's, yeah. I can't think of something that yeah. falls worse than that. Uh, on that kind of rating, a, a middle a middle ground would be falling up the stairs. I'm mean, going up, like that's the five. <laughs> you go up and you trip and you hit you. Falling, falling up, yeah. falling up would be the middle ground. Many people do in life. Falling up is it's perfectly yeah, acceptable. Perfectly normal. Uh, I will say, in sealed, this feels like a. Oh, this feels like an, like an Apollo thirteen. Like okay, in sealed. Dang, it's, that's a that's a. Heck of a rise. Wonder Woman was really fun. Okay. Bench powers in sealed in the like, yeah. specific set can be pretty fun. Um, I thought this was going to be a more singular kind of one way kind of match, and it, it didn't actually turn out that way. It still came down to like chance and positioning and like, you know, mistakes here and there and that kind of stuff. Mostly chance, in my opinion, but um, it was a fun game, and I, I think it's it a was. fun set. It was. Outside of sealed, with the rare exception of a few figures, I think this is more of a. Uh... <laughs> no! No! Oh my god! Uh, I'll say this is this <laughs> holy sh, dude. <laughs> Outside of sealed, I'll say this is more of like a. Uh... Catapulting a diseased horse over a wall. Yeah, yeah. Nobody wants that. that Nobody wants to load the catapult with the diseased horse. Yeah, no Nobody wants. wants to be on the receiving end of the diseased horse. It's just kind of bad. Okay. Uh, I I'm gonna give um, I'm gonna give it for seal. I'm gonna give it the rising of Challenger. That's it. Us, uh, you just come back. <laughs> I'm gonna give it like a sourdough starter, it's watching the bread rise. That's what, or I don't know, if it does in the start, rising. like whatever, uh, in like the oven, the bread rises. So I'm gonna give it that. Uh, I'm actually, I'm gonna give that for its, uh, for its like just.
just normal outside of sealed rating. I think I think in sealed, I think it's like like the cream, the cream rises to the top. 